everyone, I'm teacher Jen from Think Teach Academy and today I'll be introducing a writing structure to answer an experimental setup question. So what are these experimental setup questions? No, these are not the hands-on experiment where you take chemical A mixed with chemical B and then you see and these are the ones that are commonly tested in the booklet B open-ended questions. So right here, you will see that there are seven different types of experimental setup questions. Alright, they are the aim of experiment, reliability, relationship, fair test, conclusion, hypothesis, and of course the control setup. And these are some of the questions that I'm sure you find very familiar. We did our thorough analysis and in the year 2020, about 20% of these experimental setup questions were tested in booklet B. Now that is a lot and that's great because these are so easy to score. These are in fact more technique driven questions and they do not require any science concepts you have learned. Each experimental setup question has an answering technique to follow and I'll be showing you an exam question that tests on an experimental question which is the FAIR test. Timothy place equal amounts of different liquids A, B, C and D into identical glass tubes. He then placed the glass tubes into a basin of hot water at 90 degrees Celsius. After 10 minutes, okay, he observed that the liquids in each tube rose to different levels. Now, you can see the picture here at the start of the experiment and what happens after 10 minutes. Now, here's the question. Explain why Timothy had to place equal amounts of liquids in each glass tube at the start of the experiment. Now, why is it so important that the amounts of each liquid used must be the same? So, in an experiment, right, there can only be one change variable, which is the types of liquids that have already been mentioned in this question. Now, for the, in this experiment, right, all other variables must be kept the same. So this is to ensure that the experiment is a fair one. Now the moment you have identified which type of question this belongs to under the seven experimental setup questions, I can now show you the answering technique to answer this question. So here you have it. All you have to do is to follow this answering technique. Now first, you have to identify the change variable, which is the type of liquid, followed by the measured variable, which is the change in the level of liquid in each tube, and finally, the variable that has been stated in the question, which is either the amounts of liquids or the volume of liquids. After identifying these three variables, you can now simply insert them into this answering technique and you will definitely get your full marks. I have come to the end of this video. If you want to find out how our teachers at Think Teach Academy make science easy to learn and easy to score, do check out other enriching videos on our channel. Subscribe to it and stay tuned for our next science video.